Alonso, data specialist from Trundle, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard for service management projects. Jira dashboard will bring much value to the team to make decisions and to increase performance. For example, with a dashboard, the team could have a full picture of how many requests of the same type have been created and take actions such as self-support with a knowledge base, seeing agents workload, seeing seasonal tickets so we can better distribute the workload among the team, etc. So let's get started. Uh, we go to dashboard and again create dashboard. Uh, this is like the general section, dashboard, create dashboard, and we can create it here. Uh, it will be the ITSM overview dashboard. And we can select the viewers or editors. I'm going to create a dashboard that will show me the assignee and the issue type. With this dashboard, I want to see who is the agent that works more in a specific issue type and see if it is because uh, she's specialized in a particular issue type or the team needs training. As I showed you in the previous video, to use a dimensional gadget, I will need a filter first. For that, we go to filters, advanced filters. And then look for project ASM and we can save it as ASM all issues. Back to the dashboard and add the two dimensional filter statistic. Uh, with this, we're going to use the AMS ISM all issues and we want to know the issue type and the assignee. It's pretty similar as the software dashboard so it will show us the issue type here, the assignee and give us a total. This is very useful in, in any kind of project, software or service management and to give us a full picture of the team workload. Now we're going to create a created versus resolved. This is a um, service management project report. We can set it to the right and we can configure it with the project that we have created versus resolved. And we can say the past, ten day, past seven days. So with this report we can see uh, how many tickets was created, how many tickets was resolved and we can see the, the velocity of the team, we can see by day and it gives us an advantage that we can click on it and it will show us in a more detail uh, when it was created, when it was resolved and then if uh, when there are data you can click on the number and it will give you the full information on what's the key, the request summary, the report, the assignee, request type, and the status. So you can change here really easily to, to the favorite event between result and created. The last gadget we're going to use for this dashboard is the filter counts. We can create it with different metrics. Yes, um, we can include, for example, the timing resolution, breach, the first response, breach, the total number of issues of requests, and the total result. This gadget is very important because it gives us the information to analyze where the team is not completing the SLAs. And you can take actions such as assign more people to the project, change shifts, or discuss better, better SLAs with the client. I said it was the last gadget, but we can't go without checking out a classic. The pie chart is a classic to show a big picture of the workload of a team. For this project, I will create a pie chart based on, a, on an agent, and it will show the total issues. If I want to shape this report, I can include a filter with some restriction to focus my data on a specific point. So to look for the pie chart, I will go to the bar and click on all and then pie chart, click on add, 
I put it in the graphics zone, I select the ASM and by assignee. So it will give us the full picture on who's, who's the agent that is working more in the team. Uh, we can click on the name and see what kind of tickets this person is working and also we can uh, check here and the status is not we can say status category is different than done and we can use this metric to talk with the team and see who's working more and why they're working more to better balance our workload. Now I will show you some very useful built-in reports that will keep your team in good shape. You can find the built-in reports on the left panel of the main screen of the project. So to go there, click on project, go to your service project, and you notice in the left menu there are the reports. We will start with workload. This report cannot be modified, but it shows the total open tickets by an agent. Notice that it includes a tag on the right of the agent name to identify admins. Let's continue with the next one, is request deflected. It will show the number of times that a knowledge base link was used, translating it on the number of requests that the customer didn't create and do self-support, helping with the team workload. In this graphic, we can see that uh, today an article was viewed nine times. Nine times and a ticket was not created. So that's good because the team doesn't have to uh, to deal with a lot of tickets after the user read the self-support documentation. Let's continue with the next one, is request deflected. It will show the number of times that a knowledge base link was used, translating it on the number of requests that the customer didn't create and do self-support, helping with the team workload. In this graphic, we can see that uh, today an article was view nine times nine times and a ticket was not created so that's good because the team doesn't have to uh, to deal with a lot of tickets after the user read the self-support documentation another report is the request resolved this will show the total of, of request resolved in a period of time. We can see it the past seven days, the past 48 hours. And it also will show the request resolved with an article, the request resolved without an article, uh, the request deflected in the, in the portal. So th it also gives us uh, more information on how the requests were solved uh, if the agent used an article to solve this, this ticket. Uh, there's also some custom reports such as created versus resolved, time versus resolution. These uh, reports can be ed edited. Uh, the ones that are for by default, they cannot be edited, but the, the ones that are custom, you can edit it and uh, you can add lines depending on, on their colored series. So in this case, this uh, created is in red and you can edit it, uh, change the color, filter by to make uh, a line more uh, more focused in, in any particular uh, data that you want to analyze. You can change the color to create it. Let's let's say let's check the blue uh, result we can say it, uh, green. And then you can add an, uh, another series. Uh, the series could be Resolved first priority or, or the, the metrics based in the time metrics. Uh, this is really useful because we can uh, check another series against the resolved, resolved or created, and we can analyze those numbers here. And the same with the other uh, reports, we can click 
for more details on the dots. One of the biggest features of the service management project are the SLAs, and I will show you two useful reports to analyze this metric. The SLA success rate, it will show the percentage of the rate, and here you can click click on the dots and it will show what tickets generate this metric. Also, SLA met versus bridge will show us the number of tickets that met the SLA and the ones that don't and the details of them. All these build reports are pretty useful but basic and if all these features I show you do not fit the complex metrics you want to see for your team. I can also recommend the use of advanced BI tools like ECBI. It allows you to analyze all the information in Jira and create complex and interactive data analysis reports and visual visualize them in a variety of charts and graphics. If it's in Jira, you can measure it with ECBI. So there's a demo account here uh, with different options uh, this is the the option to to uh, software you can see all the graphics that you can create for very uh, 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 extend variety of reports uh, focus in agile or simple start simple or if you want to see the agile things the sprint overview uh, it has a unlimited way to create metrics. The sky is the limit with ECBI and the metrics that you can create. Also, custom chart for Jira is a very effective Jira native experience, zero coding and easy to configure tool to show advanced charts in, in dashboards, easy to use with a simple drag and drop editor. They also have um, a demo account that you can simply play with it they have an interactive chart for playground uh, and you you can check the dashboard example and and how easy is to configure uh, with a lot of options but this is subject for another video thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel have a good day